Morning. It's about half six and uh, it wasn't quite the spectacular sunrise I was hoping for, but not bad. I'm not complaining. <sighs> I slept pretty well. I've been awake since about three though, but my legs feel fine. Not stiff at all. So I've got 17 and a half miles to do today to get to Drumna Drocket. And uh, my main task is to get away from all these midges. So best pack the tent up and get going. I don't know if you can see that, I'm on maximum zoom and the light's not great, but you can see Ben Nevis in the far distance, clear as a bell with the naked eye. Um, that's 40 miles away now. I didn't mention condensation in the tent. Well, there has been none. Uh, not on the first night or the second night. Um, on the second night, with well, just this morning when I woke up, uh, I thought there might be quite a bit because I pitched it lower and uh, there wasn't hardly any wind, almost no wind all night. Um, you know, and I was surrounded by damp marshes, but uh, no, no condensation, so that's good. down into a pine forest now. I wonder when the midges will stop. Definitely getting steeper downhill now. Here's some zigzags. About a mile down to Invermoriston. And the sun's come out. I'm nearly at Invermoriston now and uh, I would say that that camping spot I found was the only place on the whole high level route um, where you could camp. <laughs> Unless of course you want to risk it in the, the marshy land but who wants to do that to be honest. So take that into account if you want to do that high route. I'm down to the main road in Vermoriston. Look at this cool old bridge. And on the other side, these beautiful cascades. Well, it's a pretty small place. There's not much here in the way of shops and pubs and things. Just the hotel there on the right and cafe on the corner on the left. Further up, about a quarter of a mile, there's another cafe, but that's closed today, it's Monday. There's a nice picnic area though, so I've got myself a big breakfast roll, and I'm gonna make a brew. Just down from the cafe as well, across the road, is the village hall, and there's a drinking water tap here to fill up your bottles. That sure is a steep climb out of the village, the first mile. <sighs> but it's starting to level off up ahead. The midges have gone too, and it's gonna be another cracking day. Turn right here, up the hairpin bend. It's about a quarter past 10 now, and what a beautiful morning. Just looking back across in Vermoriston, you can see the descent from the other high route. See that uh, sharp diagonal descent cutting through the pine forest over there. That's where the zigzags were coming down. And here's another decision to make on the way between the low route, which is pretty high actually. I'm on the low route now. It does drop down towards the road though. Um, or up there to the high route. I hadn't decided which way I wanted to go 
I wanted to get up the steep climb out of the village and then see how I felt for energy. Um, but I'm fully hydrated again. My bottles are full. I'm feeling all right climbing actually. It's just those midges on top I don't like. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do the high route. And the main reason is not just for the views of Loch Ness, but I wanted to see this, this great wood and stone uh, sculpture somewhere along the high route. So it's up there we go. A uh, bit of an obstacle. <laughs> Look at this massive tree. Blimey. Well, I'm not getting under there. I'm going to have to walk around it. Oof. Well, that was harder than it sounded. I had to come across all that rubbish there. Nearly ripped my trousers and broke my walking poles and did myself a mischief. Come on, boys, get the chainsaws out. Mind you, looking back, look at all these trees. This looks like a regular event. I'm not camping here. <laughs> I don't recommend you do either. It's lovely in here. Lovely cool air. Babbling stream. It's called the view catcher, made from Caledonian pine and local stone. This eye in the sky was designed to highlight this stunning view. And I think we can all agree on that. It's brilliant, I love it. Perfect choice of materials, wood and stone. And as hill walkers, we all come to love those two things, don't we? Of course, I love beer and fish and chips as well, but that's not the point, is it? I've been gently descending this path for about half a mile or so, but looking across this ever steepening valley, both on this side and the other, and looking across, I can see a path right at the top of the forest over there, almost to the the summit of that hill that looks really really steep and a long way and I was hoping that that's not the path I'm on the other side of that steep valley now or glen I should say and uh, it only took about 10 minutes to get up the steep bit another cool bridge to add to the collection look at this <laughs> oh, it's helped uh, designed by some local primary school kids and put up in 2014. <laughs> it's cool, look at it. I better get off the bridge before the troll gets me. Again, in some height now. That was another steep pull up there. But looking back across where I've come from, I can see the path snaking down there. And I think this is actually the path that I saw from back there because I've cleared all the trees now. There's only heather to the summit. So yeah, I'm on that high path that I saw back there. Oh, well, I don't feel too bad actually. Like I say, I'm climbing pretty well today and yesterday. So let's keep going. Wow, what a view. Again, I don't know if you can see this, but I can see it in silhouette in the distance. That's Ben Nevis. Um, now I've walked 50 miles to get this far. Now there's a lot of ins and outs, granted. 
it's probably less as the crow flies but firstly it's great to see a mountain you know from from that far away and secondly I'm in Scotland they don't have clear skies like this very often I'm a lucky boy Another spectacular viewpoint. Down onto a flat bit now after quite a bit of up and down. I'm about 11 miles in and it's two o'clock now, so that's okay and uh, the weather's set fair all day so I'm really enjoying it today. Ah, here it joins back up with the low route Drumna Drocket seven miles. So the low route must have been climbing up to that point along this track and along here we go. I just stopped to filter some water. I've done it a few times on the trail so far um, been okay even though it hasn't rained for a few days uh, the streams or burns are still pretty full and um, I've been using my water filter and the uh, water purification tabs as well that's important and I haven't had a problem so I've got another litre and a half on me now for the last few miles so it should be okay have been a bit of a slog actually. Gradually uphill, which does now. I've got about four miles left. At last I can turn off this road. A miles of road walking. It sends your mind and your feet numb. I'm glad to get on a normal path again. Two miles left. It's steeply downhill into Drumnod Rocket. But at least this is uh, a country path with nice shade, it's nice and cool again. There it is, down through the trees. I did plan originally to camp at this campsite here. Um, look at that lovely green grass. Oh, it's like a football pitch. Would have been like camping at Wembley Stadium, but they're not accepting tents because of uh, Covid, sharing shower blocks and such, so I'll have to go in the town and see what else is on offer. Well, I've arrived in Drumnod Rocket. Turned out to be 19 miles in the end. And uh, that campsite's shut, and there are no other campsites. Now, um, I'm feeling pretty tired. My feet are aching, my legs are aching, my shoulders are aching. <laughs> you know the story. Uh, so tomorrow this is the final day and it's 19 miles to Inverness which I don't think I need to shorten um, because there's no uh, big steep ups and downs apart from the first mile or two. Um, so I'm going to go into town and see what I can find and uh, hostel or B&B &B or something. Well I've arrived at Drumna Drochic Centre. Tartan shops, shortbread and all the rest, pubs, cafes, bars and a nice village green ahead. Very nice.
Well, I looked out, I went straight across the road to this one here and got one of the last two rooms left for 30 quid and it's great, so I'm in there. Here it is, and what a lovely room. En suite as well. Now I know it's not wild camping, but don't think too badly of me. I've done pretty well the last two nights and I put a lot of effort in the first three days, so I think I deserve it. Now I fully intend to go and have a celebratory pint on the night before the last day tonight, but just in case I conk out, <laughs> fall, fall asleep in about 10 minutes or so, I'll say bye now and I'll see you tomorrow.